I'm going to show you all how to use the new generative fill in Photoshop to expand any photo. This is currently in the beta version, so you will need to go into the Adobe Creative Cloud, go down to beta apps and install Photoshop beta in order to be able to use this new feature. We would first of all, make sure that the layer is unlocked by clicking on the lock icon. And then we would go to the crop tool. And from here, we want to make sure that the content aware is turned off. We're going to hold Alt or Option key, left click on the edges, drag these out to expand the background and then press apply. From here, we're going to press control or hold control and then left click on the photo to get ourselves a selection. And all we need to do is simply press control, shift and I to invert the selection. From here, we can use the new generative fill feature, left click on here and we can type in expand background. Go ahead and click on generate. And what this will do is it will use AI to fill in this missing area right here. So as you can see by the results, you can see they are honestly incredible. They are very accurate and look like the original photo. You can see so much detail right here. And on this side, it is a little bit more blurry. It does have some imperfections at the moment. You will have certain areas that are either blurry or you may see these little lines right here where the image goes from one to another, but it's not really much of a big problem because you can easily fix these. Another thing about this is that you also have three different variations. You can go through each and every one by either clicking in here, or you can open up the properties panel. And then from here, you can flick through each one and have a look and see which one looks the best. And personally for me, I really like all three of them. I would say the second and third are more accurate when it comes to the background and how blurry it should be. But other than that, the first, second and third all look great. From here, you can actually minimize this. And if you wanted to, you can also customize the actual mask itself. You can either disable it or you can just mix and match the original. You can subtract the mask or add onto the mask. So let's say, for example, we wanted to subtract from the mask. We would select this one and then we would just remove it from here. This is great if you've got multiple different variations. So for example, if you wanted to mix and match certain ones, you can press Control or Command and J, get yourself a copy of it. And with this one, we're going to switch it to the second one. With the second one, we're going to select the mask. And then from here, we're going to select subtract. And we're just going to left click on here and mix these two together. So as you can see, we have parts of the second one and the third one right here. And that is the new generative fill feature in Photoshop. Let me know what you think of this video. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.